this. What I asked you guys to be able to do was to determine the LCD. Now, last class period in your notes, what we talked about was how to find the LCD when you had polynomials. So this isn't something that's brand new. This is something that we discussed last class period. And the easiest way I told you guys to find the LCD is simply just to multiply your two denominators. So therefore, you have x times x minus 2. That is your LCD. Now, the LCD is not always going to be the product, okay? but it's a very common way to at least get a common denominator. Then, after I told you to find the LCD, which is actually a review from last class period, then the new thing I told you to do was to multiply every single term by its LCD, just like I did with the last problem. So therefore, I would multiply by x times x minus 2, x times x minus 2, and x times x minus 2. Okay. Now, what's important about identifying the LCD is just like the LCD in the last problem was 12, we had 4 and 3 divided into 12, right? And that eliminated our denominator. So does x divide into x times x minus 2? Yes. Yes. How many times? No, it divides into there x minus 2 times. Think about it this way, guys. What? x times x minus 2 divided by x. Simplify this. What divides to 1? x over x. You're left with x minus 2. OK? So therefore, you're left with 2x minus 2. Now let's go to this one. x times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. x minus 2 divides into this how many times? 